I am not an emotional person overall, especially when it comes to celebrities. Part of this is I don't know them. Watching a TV show or movie isn't a great way to understand a real person. Some are private. Some are great character actors, and for them, you're not seeing the real person ever. Carrie Fisher was a bit different. She had done a lot of interviews, been very active on the convention scene, written several books which looked at her life, been very vocal about getting more attention and help regarding mental health issues, and just seemed to be a very accessible person. She definitely meant different things to different people, and luckily remembered fondly by all those different groups. I, like many others, knew her from her role as Princess Leia. Star Wars is an unusual thing that crosses generational boundaries. I have a photo from a Christmas when I was a small boy holding Luke's X-Wing fighter with Luke in the pilot seat. I now have a picture of my six-year-old boy holding Poe's X-Wing with Poe in the pilot seat. My parents rented a Force Awakens to watch on Christmas Day. My family just got back from Rogue One, and it was something my son and daughter were both excited to go to. My childhood wasn't easy for a whole bunch of reasons, and my parents didn't really know what to do with me. We only saw six films at the drive-in, Rocky, which I don't care about and don't count, so Tron, The Black Hole, which were both Disney sci-fi and brilliant, and the original Star Wars films. It's one of the few things we did as a family. Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia was in my life since I was five years old. I have seen no other films as much as I have seen A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and the other Star Wars in general. She was for me as a child the first balanced female character that I can remember. She was beautiful, but not based on looks. She didn't take any crap from any of the guys. She led with her heart and was smart and dedicated. She was the strength of the rebellion. It showed girls that they could be strong and lead. She showed boys that girls were equals. It might have just been a sci-fi movie, but I think that that role and Carrie Fisher did a lot of good with it. I, for one, will miss her. I have had this figure for a while, and it sat on my shelf. I liked it a lot, but had so many different projects on the go that I never got around to it. A few weeks ago, I pulled it down and set it in the list of things to make sure I do. With Carrie's passing, I decided to do it now. It mattered to me on a personal level. The figure itself is from Fantasy Flight Games' Imperial Assault Miniature Wargame. The sculpts have been getting better. The early ones are kind of rubbish, but they had been improving, and I am happy that Hoth Leia was one of the new, improved ones. I based him white, as the clothing was white overall. I decided to change the coat, which was an off-white, into something a little different. I wanted it to stand out a bit more. Her boots are the only real colour on the costume, and they are a light blue. It's a simple but effective set of clothing. To bring out some of the detail, I did a shadow wash over the figure. The wash isn't normally very dark, and is more a light grey, but this time was darker than I wanted, so I worked the base colours back over it. This helped a bit, but not perfect. The figure, though, is only about 1.1 inches tall, so it isn't very big, and for a tabletop piece, I like how she looks. I hope that the game will release some more of her costumes. I am happy to have finished her, and she has a pride of place in my display cabinet. It's hard not to feel sad about her passing, and then with the passing of Debbie Reynolds as well, that family has taken a very hard hit to the soul. Myself and my boy are going to watch a couple of Star Wars films and think of happy times. Hug your kids. Be cool to each other. The darkness will come soon enough for us all. Spend it by being awesome and with people you care about. May 2017 be your year. From everyone involved with Crit Fail, we give you our best wishes and heartfelt thanks.